College London and I'm here at the Blackett Laboratory to have a look at some of the project presentations from first year undergraduate physics students. These projects are on a huge variety of different topics, so let's go ahead and learn something new. Up first is Shabazz and Julio presenting their project on chaos theory. Okay, this is the Learns attack there. The Learns attack there is based on uh, chaos and chaos uh, when you deal with science, deals with highly sensitive systems that a slight change in initial conditions completely changes the results at the end of it. Um, and this is commonly known as the butterfly effect. And the analogy is given that if a butterfly flaps its wings, it can create like uh, a tornado somewhere else in the world. And the lens attack that it deals with this couple sense, uh, system of differential equations. The lens himself uh, derived these from this massive equation and used a bunch of simplifications and got these three simple equations in the end. And this is the Lorentz system. The Lorentz attractor in itself is that certain values of this low sigma and beta will give you chaotic systems and certain chaotic systems will give you these butterfly wings. And these butterfly wings are the commonly defining feature of the Lorentz attractor. And that in a nutshell is the Lorentz attractor. Okay, so basically when we talk about the Lorentz system, we generally refer to the system of coupled uh, linear differential equations. And if we look at it, we see they're all three coupled, and they, because they all depend at least on the one, uh, they all share at least one variable, all three equations. But uh, solving this analytically can be a bit of a pain, because um, the solution is not quite as straightforward as uh, it might seem. So what physicists do, not us because we're not physicists yet, but <laughs> hopefully soon, um, what we do is we try and find a model that we can program in order to solve the system um, numerically. What, so what does numerically mean for the, the audience that is not familiar with uh, differential equations? Basically means defining, uh, finding an algorithm that um, iterates over certain um, very small changes of uh, time because we see all the derivatives are dependent on time and we find a, a set of values, a set of points that we can plot in this uh, 3D space that we call a phase space because this um, three coordinates are, um, which we can find in the, the Lorentz system don't actually represent dimensions in itself. They, what they do is they represent um, characteristics of the system such as it might be like viscosity of the fluid or um, uh, temperature if we're talking about weather, all that kind of stuff. So it's more of, a, of an imagined space. It's more, sort of, uh, it's more something we create on our own to show the dependence of all three uh, coordinates x, uh, y and z. And z. Um, and basically the, the end result is uh, to show that they uh, basically oscillate from one uh, solution to another so that it's in a chaotic behavior that means it's never really at one point. You can try and make an analogy to quantum superposition which uh, basically means that it's you can't really pinpoint uh, anything at a certain point. And uh, there's another very interesting thing where we can do in this model and that is um, analyzing um, individual dependences of each of the coordinates against time. So here we've got an example of uh, the x dependence against time. So this, uh, for this plot we chose an initial value of 1.2 for x, just arbitrarily, and for the next uh, value we just altered that by 0.05 to see if a very slight change in the system would actually really yield a big uh, difference in, uh, in the outcome. And uh, as we can see, it actually does. So um, only the, this little bit at the, f uh, at the beginning is constant, which is um, why weather prediction is only accurate to uh, a couple of days max maximum, because uh, afterwards we see that we go into this chaotic behavior, which uh, for a very small change, everything just looks very different. You, 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 um, the one thing that does remain kind of constant is the fact that if we have a butterfly plot like this, we will have um, kind of an alternation between going from the negative to the positive, sort of a periodicity in that kind of sense, because it makes sense as the solution is uh, sort of oscillating from one point to the other. But the actual dependence itself is very wiggly and very unpredictable, and that's uh, kind of the point of, uh, the, um, of the project itself. So in this case, we used Python, which is a, a kind of um, a quite a useful programming language for uh, for beginners uh, <laughs> into the programming world, which is what we are. But um, basically, yeah, we coded a model that kind of, that solves it uh, accurately. And um, now comes uh, we need to we still need to analyze some scenarios and uh, try and find some more um, um, relationships between the variables. 
but basically this uh, is a classic example of a dynamic um, a system of uh, equations, a chaotic system. And um, this one is quite simplified, so it basically means you can only predict uh, easy stuff as a, like weather or maybe like um, a small relationship inside the financial markets. But if, you, if we were to uh, expand this system, which Lawrence did afterwards, because um, if uh, for the math uh, geniuses out there, if you can actually understand the math, then good, um, good for you and read the paper because it's very interesting. Uh, it's got loads of extra calculus in it, so brace yourselves, but it's, um, it's worth reading. And uh, you can see how he expands, uh, how he builds up on this model and basically does quite accurate predictions that are used nowadays in loads of, um, loads of universities and loads of research papers. Oh, yeah. Another possible extension of this is that Lorenz did this with three differential equations, then uh, another guy, Palmer, came along and did a force, uh, force differential equations where there's five couple differential equations, and that's another example of chaotic system but it still can give you those butterfly effects and it's just adding on to it and showing how even more chaos can be built and so you will some, uh, for example lose this first 10 seconds being the same but it will just show that after one or two seconds it goes completely chaotic and the main point about this is the unpredictability of nature and how even the smallest change can affect the results completely okay that's all folks. That's all for today.